We all know to try and tell the truth. Why you slept? I slept ass. What a fucking song, man. Like, uh, dude, yeah. I fucked like, your that bitch is... last night. Ugh. Yeah. Like, dude, this, like, if Bill and Selma's not even black, but he managed to fucking channel blackness <laughs> into, like, a really, in, yeah. instead of, like, a. You know, let me let give you some of my 12 play. Yeah, the Bill and Selma's all like, I fucked your bitch last night. <laughs> yeah. You were snoring. I oh my slapped god, the I, hear the, I hear the villagers falling from the sky. Um, would you like to join my my, my dad's Minecraft Minecraft server, Minecraft Club? I've got business cards here if you would like to join. Join, but at 9,999 blocks in the sky, so. Um, it's going to be a lot of villagers falling out of the sky for no reason for oh, a little man. while. Alright. I'm six feet from the year I'm playing I'm six feet from the year I'm playing on hell. Like, uh, what, what would you think for a working title, Paul? Uh, I don't know. It would be I'll, like, you know, <clears throat> Moe's... Most good times with 12 volt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my name is Terry T. Thomason. The only two people who can call me 12 volt are Doug Childress, God rest his soul, and my wife, Rosie. She's a whore. You know, it's, it's crazy that, you know, like, I mean, we all expected him to die, but it's yeah. weird that he is dead. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it, it's, <laughs> it's like, huh. Like, not really surprising, it's just disappointing. Yeah, because you're all like, dude, I, I wouldn't mind, like, life, like, you know, I mean, like, if I could choose between 12 volt or Trump, I would choose <laughs> fucking 12 volt. Cause I think oh, that's... God, can you imagine? Respawn 12 volt? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ugh. Hey. I, I spawned inside of you. I'm violated. Mm. I'm violated. Mm. I love to feel you inside of me. Oh, yeah, now that all the golems are dead, I can just come over here. Hello, farmer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. So, uh. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're filling this pla this hill up with TNT and then like well we're going to go like try to go the raiders into raiding this place or something or what are we doing here? Yeah, so what we what we can do, you see like the whole village built around this main little cluster here. Yeah. So I figure if we uh if we get down inside of the hill, we can just kind of hollow the thing out and uh start packing it deep with our thick load of TNT <laughs> and uh, then when we finally built up enough suspense and uh, you know pressure we let our massive load erupt inside of their warm dark cave alright nothing, nothing sexual <laughs> yeah nothing sexual about this at all people I just want to let you know that this has nothing you know should I put like suggestive to like sexual or sexually suggestive tones I don't know. We, we can leave him. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? Fuck this fucking creative mode shit. Hold on. I'm bringing out Chippy. Oh, okay. That'll make this go a lot quicker. What the fuck is the inventory screen again? I kind of forgot. It, dude, it's been like two weeks and I've forgotten shit about Minecraft. Uh, God damn it. E? If you hit E, it'll open your inventory. Oh, there we go. I have absolutely no fucking torches whatsoever whoa right. what the fuck is going on this is some seriously weird lag that I've never experienced before now it's this one spot right here it's like this one spot if I stand right here I start wigging out I think it's haunted bro I think we got ourselves a haunted Minecraft uh, server we, we've got to go ghost hunting we got to call in professionals ghost ghost chasers Today on Ghost Chasers, there's a ghost in the mine. We're going to get down to the bottom of. We're going to dig up the truth. Of today, uh, the mine. 
and the haunting. Ghost mine haunting. Da, da, da. You won't, won't want to miss it. Ghost mine hunting tiny houses of Alaska. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking cool. Like, I can just do this and record a video of me doing this all day. What's that? Just digging a hole? <laughs> yeah, just like digging, like right here. Sometimes if I pull on it too hard, I rip the skin. Have you seen the Jordan Peterson fucking edit of that? It's so goddamn funny. <laughs> no, no. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Sometimes, I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. Well, I mean... Oh, dude, like, uh, it's so fucking, I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> About three hours into our project, we realized we didn't hold any particular disdain for the villagers. <laughs> well, it was too late. We'd already gotten this far. I had to finish what we started. I mean, what's one more village, right? After the last several. We met this boy, Camille. Camille is nine years old. He's in third grade at the local villager school. He believes we're here filming a documentary about humanitarian efforts, bringing these villagers up to speed with the modern world. He tells us he wants to be an astronaut when he grows up, although he will definitely have his chance to accelerate towards the heavens. <laughs> it will not be while strapped to a rocket, but rather as his lifeless body is flung heaven-bound are the explosives we intend to plant. I'd be lying if I said I felt bad about this at all, in the slightest. You see, the villagers are subhuman. <laughs> they deserve to die. They must make room for all people. God damn! This got dark real quick. <laughs> Swati is a 14-year-old girl. She lives in the village. She's a basket weaver by trade. And when she was nine, her father put her to work as a basket weaver, which initially she resisted. <laughs> My father put me into a cage and fed me raisins for three days. It was there that I learned how to make explosives. <laughs> I only seek to avenge myself and my country. <laughs> oh my god! While we were out looking for fresh water, we came across the corpse of a sheep. It appeared to have been sexually assaulted. <laughs> Villagers in this area are known for doing unspeakable things to livestock, children, grandmothers, great grandmothers, step peppers. So even Nothing step is peppers? safe. Nothing is safe. And no one is secure. <laughs> When the Americans first arrived, we weren't sure what to expect. But the first time I saw one of them fucking my grandma in the ass, I knew we would be safe. Everybody was scared of that bitch. So as you can see, Charles, although things may be tense between the Americans and the native, overall it's an air of appreciation back to you at the studio. Think that little villager girl still down to suck my cock? <laughs> oh shit, this thing's gone. Back to you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, man! I think I'm gonna fucking die here, man. Dina Halahule. You're better, dude. Like these villagers don't talk like the regular villagers. Well, cause they're from the eastern side of the wall, you know. Bertoni says that he originally supported the Americans' arrival. 
Everything was great for the first few months. But then I came home and American soldiers had my wife in a glory hole. It didn't even look like she had resisted. By the time it was done, I jerked off 13 times. I'm so ashamed of myself. Kalio now wears diapers to bed every night. I get into baby play. You like, you like. <laughs> He's so horny. We love you long. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Me sucky, sucky. Me yeah, so horny. Oh, shit. I've got a bunch of spiders on my ass. This is. All, you know, dude, for like the last three days, I've had fucking achy, breaky heart stuck in my fucking head. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't want to well, fuck my think it understand. Shut up. Okay, don't. Don't do oh, that. Oh, you're full of shit if you're saying you don't want to fuck Miley Cyrus. No, I don't. You know, like, like, dude. You mean I'm, to tell I'm, me? I'm you mean down, to tell I'm me? I'm down that, to pound sluts, that, but I'm just. That I don't want to. snatched fucking freak. Just whip that cooter out in front of your face. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get down. Well, oh, okay. Like, in that scenario, you like, yeah, sure. Well, I see, totally that's it's. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go like out of my way to plow her. I'm just well, not. I, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure that she is relieved to hear that. No, I. You have... hear that, Miley Cyrus? You're safe. Mo's not coming for you. I'm coming for you, you fucking slut. And I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh... Marik supports the U.S.-led occupation. He believes that once job creators see how hard they're willing to work to please their infernal overlords, more businesses will choose to come to the Hakata. <laughs> My family has called me a race trader because I want to marry an American woman. <laughs> They keep their vaginas shaved, and they look like younger women. <laughs> I slept with a 40-year-old woman while I was in Kandahar recently. <laughs> Things tasted a little funny, but I got used to it eventually. I wasn't too upset until I realized her dick was bigger than mine. <laughs> American women are quite strange indeed. Oh, we're so happy to have you here in the village with us. The Raiders, they are not coming every day anymore. Oh, but don't you worry, there will be Raiders. <clears throat> the American government recently signed a contract with the local pillager troop. That will provide security to the perimeter. Any villagers found inside the perimeter will of course be dealt with summarily. The only problem, the perimeter was drawn after the village had already been established. And without the village's consent. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? All of our villages were here already before they drew the stupid line. <laughs> These pillagers have no honor. They come here and take our women without any repercussions whatsoever. They're not even making sex on them. <laughs> What good is it to steal all our women if they're not even going to make sex on them? At least with Hillary Clinton as president, we know that we'll be safe. <laughs> see, this timeline, Hillary won. <laughs> see, you see the horrors we averted. Look, I know Donald Trump isn't a very palatable president. But just imagine how much worse it could have been when I joined the Marine Special Forces Navy SEAL Delta. <laughs> I knew I'd be in the world of shit and in the weeds. But I didn't know I was gonna have to kill the president. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, bum, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I didn't want to kill the president. <laughs> America, yeah, you wanna save America? I know fortune you won't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who the roll around? 
Spawn a bunch of pillagers. All right, hold on a sec. Like I am filling this bitch up. All right, well, I'm gonna come over to another hill, a little bit further away from you. I'm gonna spawn a bunch of pillagers, and they'll just do what comes naturally. So it'll be a while before right. they get there. I'm nearly done anyway. <laughs> ow, ow. Ow. All right, there we go. Now that the uh, now that the pillagers have spotted me, they're going to be following me to the village. And then, of course, you know, we'll have no choice but for the safety of the villagers to destroy the village. Of course, of course. And we've got no other choice. So just, uh, you know, let them shoot at us. I mean, me, mostly, you know. And uh, we'll just have them chase us and... You know, kind of agitate them a little bit. You're killing most of them, though. Oh, am I? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Shot. <laughs> oh, no. What are we going to do? The village. We have to save them. Unfortunately, they're on a ton of resources oh, that no! our country could use. So we must pick the people or the resources. Dear God, it's even worse than I imagined. This is what your war on terror looks like, everyone. Oh my God. I'm in the middle of a shit storm. Jesus fucking Christ. What have I done? Oh my God. Jesus fuck. Holy shit. Wow, that was terrible. Ah, I don't know how many of them I spawned, but it was a lot. And uh, they are all over my ass. <laughs> They're on me like stink on shit, bud. I tell you what. I gotta get out of here like a fart in the wind. Oh, bitch. Oh, no, you don't, motherfucker. Oh, shit, I forgot I don't have my pickaxe. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me what I done. All the villagers are fucking over here. They're just going ape shit like, wah, huh, 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 huh. Mo, Mo, I'm sorry. And the raiders I are raiding. Uh oh. Uh, I, th I think that's all you did. It was just a little oh. bit of boom boom. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh shit, am I out of arrows? No. Nope. Oh, Wait, no I'm not. What the fuck? It's like lagging in a weird way. Crossbow. Yeah, it won't let me, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, a Moe's gotta do what a Moe's gotta do. Oh wow, there's villagers all over the hill, man. <laughs> I think the worst part, though, is that I spawned a bunch of extra pillagers. So a lot of these fuckers that are running around, like, you have no clue which ones are actually part of the raid and which ones I spawned in. How the hell do I blow the fucking thing up? How do you set them off? You gotta use a, a lever or a switch oh, or a, okay. Usually I fucking touch a redstone. Them. Like I'll fart on them or something and they'll just fucking go. Well, you have to give them some kind of redstone signal. Oh, okay. Or light them with the flint and steel. Oh, okay. Like so. Uh oh. What the fuck happened then? There we go. Oh lord, they're gonna hit me. They're not safe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that's one way to win a raid. 
Dear God. Well, I'd say that uh, took pretty good care of it, huh? Yes. Really, uh, you really uh, let him know how you felt about it there, Mo. Oh, raid. yeah. We were defeated in the raid? Oh, I guess because the village was completely destroyed. <laughs> yes. The oh village... my god, dude, look at this place. Look, yes. because the TNT was flying out of the hole. Oh my. I am stuck. So...